been created in resin, so they're great for outdoors. But guess what? They do come with this little lantern, and how is that powered? It's actually by battery, so good news for you. You can put this up in a shady place. You can bring it inside. You can, you know, there's all kinds of different ways that you can use this now because it is just with a battery. So all you'll need is three AA batteries, and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Under $30. Need easy pay? Use your Q card. It'll be around ten dollars. And M five two three two nine. Do you own this? Call us. We'd love to love to hear from you. So four different sweet little animals. And yes. you guys, you guys always do these really great little resin. I remember the sheep you had. Yep. I don't know if we still probably have those on QVC.com. Tell us what are the the animals you've chosen? Sure. So we have these darling animals, and Plow and Hearth does such an awesome job with animals. They make their faces so realistic, but there's always that Plow and Hearth touch of whimsy and something unique. So there you can see the cute little bunny rabbit, adorable, holding that mason jar that he's just caught those fireflies, and you can see the joy and the twinkle in his eyes. Really, really super cute. Here's our fox. Oh, look at that with his closed eyes. Adorable. <laughs> I always think of my friend Susan Soplin who loves foxes and I know she's watching tonight and look at how adorable. And these are done all around. You can see beautiful details all around. Great uh, detail to make the fur look real and his bushy tail. Then in front of you, we have our duck. Cute. And I love the feathering and the wings. Just so beautiful the way they're holding. He's holding that uh, mason jar full of fireflies. And then our owl. Owls are always very popular. When Plow and Hearth does something with owls, people love them. Again, that face just kind of like, oh, so happy they caught the fire, he caught the fireflies. Really a great one if you have something that you want to do for a teacher in your life. I think Aww. an owl is kind of cute because it's battery powered, can sit on a desk or, you know, be something that they can use inside as well as outside. Because you know their wisdom, that's mm -hmm. what the owl is. Um, so the owl, the duck, the mm -hmm. fox, and the rabbit are your choices. And size wise, the bunny is 13 inches high and six and a half inches wide. Seven inches long. The duck is 12 by 5 by 8, and the owl is 10 and a half by 6 uh, inches. And I'm so sorry that I do not have the fox oh, for you, but the fox is probably same. about the same as the bunny. About the same as the bunny, exactly. Yeah. And I want to show you just a little bit more on our little fox right here. So you can see those beautiful details from his perky little ears. This is made out of resin, and the wonderful thing about that is it gives you great detail. Um, I feel like he's going to eat those. <laughs> like that's what he's on. To me, I, he's being like a little, a little too happy. Yes, maybe. Right. That could be. <laughs> and um, then you've got this. This looks like it's glass, but it is made out of kind of a resin, so you don't have to worry about that breaking. It's full of, you know, the, the lights. And these are battery operated. So I'm going to tip it over just so that you can see. Underneath is this kind of like little. Uh, little rubber cover and then that's where the batteries are going to go in. You do need to provide three AA batteries and there's the switch. It is on off and battery. I mean sorry on off and timer, timer. and so what you're just going to do is choose which one you want. When it's on timer mode it's going to be six hours on 18 hours off. So if you want to have this inside you certainly can do that. Put it with your flowers that you have inside. Maybe you have potted plants. Maybe you like to put it on a little bench next to your front door but it's not going to rely on the sun to power it because you choose when you want to turn it on and then it'll be on for six hours. At the bottom of your screen, we are scrolling some of the uh, reviews. Um, how about, because this is customer top rate, it says, I don't write a lot of reviews, but I had to say how cute this bunny is. My two sons just love him and wait for him to come on every night oh, and gave that. it a five star mm -hmm. review. And you can read all the reviews on QVC.com and we're, we're really grateful for everybody who does mm -hmm. write the reviews like this one. I bought the fox to add to my growing character garden. Love the light, especially since it has the timer. We'll put a smile on the faces of my friends. Sweet. And Kimberly from Facebook uh, says, these are so cute, I want one of each. They are that cute, Kimberly, for sure. Thank you, Kimberly. So the duck is very popular. There is the wise owl. They've all caught their little fireflies in their jar. Then we have the duck for you. He's so cute. 
Yep. Quack, quack, these are quack, darling. Quack. If you have like a, a table where you put a lot of potted plants, you can just tuck these guys right in there. Really fine to put out right in your garden because of that little rubber cover that I showed you that's underneath protects the battery box. And you've got something that's just going to add that, that special surprise. That's one of the things I love to recommend about gardening. So you plant your flowers. We all want flowers. We all want shrubs and bushes and trees. But you want to add that element of surprise so that when someone's walking through your garden or the grand kids come over they walk around and they see something that's unexpected and this is kind of one of those things that's a little bit unexpected it's sweet it's darling it can actually be the thing that you use to tie a storybook into because each one of these do remind me of things that are in storybooks little characters so you read the book that reminds you of the bunny that's in the storybook and then let your grandchildren or your children go out in the garden and put this in the place that they feel that they want to put it it connects them to gardening connects them to nature mm -hmm. and I like kind of having that, that connection between different generations as well as you know getting them involved in your gardening mm. Well, it's not, it's like at dusk right now in the right. studio, it's dusk. Um, and let's say you put that timer to come on and now those, the little guys have come on and how sweet, there is the bunny rabbit, mm -hmm. sweet and cute. And then we have the fox. the fox. So I have to say the fox is my favorite on this one because I, I really agree. feel like he's got, <laughs> He's gonna he's eat plans. these things. <laughs> he's, he's got right. plans. He's got serious plays like a mm, fireflies mm. and maybe honey, maybe fire. <laughs> I know that's a bear, but still, that would be really good. And then here is the duck. He's just happy. He's got some light going on. These look like these right. are his friends. And then finally, we have them in the owl. Feature priced at twenty nine dollars and ninety eight cents. They are customer top rated. They're from Plow and Hearth. Um, and this is the resin animal statue holding that lantern jar M52329 is your item number. Nancy Brad Mueller, thank, thank you. you. It was delightful to be with you, Nancy. Ditto. Just had a great time. Me thank too. you so much for joining us.